Hey guys, it's Bianca, and I'm bringing you my July wrap up. I started with Queen of the Tailing by Erica Johansson. Now, this one has been talked about a lot on YouTube and talked a lot about on the internet, and it's the reason why I got it. I believed in the hype. I was like, everybody loves this. I have to read it. Now, in the beginning, I was a little rough. I was like, I don't really, I can't get into the politics of it all at the beginning of it. But about halfway through, when things started really getting really juicy and things started coming out, and Kelsey, who is our heroine in this story, really was forced to start making decisions and proving herself, really, it grabbed me. And I was like, okay, I see why people love it. I see why I'm really loving this one. Yes yes to this one if you're looking for politics if you're looking for really amazingly written heroines that in the beginning you're like they're this like little thing and you're like okay they're going to be big they have to be big because they're in such a huge role this is one you have to pick it up i really loved it gave it five out of five stars next i read leaving amarillo and loving dallas by casey quinn these two. You can't go wrong with new adult books that are warm and fuzzy and make you want to be like, get together, just love each other. You can't, you can't go wrong with those kind of books. These are perfect examples of new adult that just kick ass in the drama and in the romance and in the feeling real department. Really love these. We have Daisy and Gavin who are in a band together and Daisy is a prodigy. She's just amazing at the violin. And Gavin, who... I love Gavin. Gavin is the drummer, and he is the perfect drummer. You just love him. He's manly. He's mysterious. He's kind of a playboy, but Daisy kind of keeps him in line in that aspect. And they've been friends for so long, and she's been crushing on him for so long, that she kind of finally like says you know what just give me one night that's all she wants one night one night together to prove that it's not what she either hopes to prove is either what she hopes or what she doesn't hope for and they get there one night and it gets good it gets juicy it gets it gets super juicy and i was all about it because i was like He's so in love with her and he just doesn't know it. They end up knowing it in the end of this one. But the ending... I've never had an ending drop me like this one has. Where you finish it and you're like, where's the rest of the book? There's more to this book, isn't there? Nope. Not yet. Third book. Third book in this series. They come back. And I cannot wait for it. I will go right away and buy it. Loved it. Four out of five stars. I gave Dallas four out of five stars as well because Dallas is Daisy's brother and you read about him and his high school sweetheart that they were together for so long and then kind of drift apart I guess is what is going on. They drift apart but he is still in love with her. She's still in love with him. Typical, you know. it's There's a format going on in most of these kind of books but oh. I just love Dallas. I was about him and I was about Robin and I was like, girl, go get him. He loves you. You love him. Just do it. I was like, just loved it. This one though, didn't leave me hanging like the first one. I was very much, I was better. I was happier with this one. I was like, yes, give me more. But I know. They're good. They're, they're lovely. They're the couple that was, they drifted and then they just realized that they were meant to be together and I was all about it love this one next I read rebound by Noel August this one this one was a little bit of a disappointment we have Allison and Adam who Allison is the daughter of this head guy that's trying to help Adam fund a film production company and she's there to make sure you know he's not crazy he's not overspending anything and stuff like that this one if you read boomerang you know about allison you know about the things that went on and you know about adam and all that stuff you know learn you learn more about adam in this one 
but mm, it was a little disappointing. I wasn't too into it. I read it to read it, but I mean, it's it's like, it's super short. But it just didn't, hmm, no, I wasn't really into it. I only gave it like three stars, I think. And mm, I wouldn't, I wouldn't reread this one. No, 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 no. Kind of just read it to get the point and you're like, it was kind of pointless. You kind of wish that he had somebody else instead of Allison. But she does end up proving herself in the end. Like the last two chapters you're like, why wasn't this like it the whole entire time? But yeah, it was, it was okay. Whatever. This one actually kind of gave me a break from the new adult drama. I realized I was reading so many of them and I was like, okay, it's time for a break. Let's move on. So, I went back to an old favorite, Paranormal Romance. Loved it. Paranormal Romance has a very soft spot in my heart. I read it all the time. It's something that really got me into reading more. And I read Christine Feehan, Viper Game. Now this one, huh. Oh, I love her Ghostwalker series, like grade A paranormal romance, just loved it. This one has been waiting for a long, long time, but it was worth the wait. I really loved Wyatt and I love Pepper and learning more about the Ghostwalkers. What I love about Feehan and her Ghostwalker series is that every single one is pretty much like a standalone. But the references that get made, you're like, oh, I remember this from like five books ago. But it was still grade A. We have Wyatt and we have Pepper and Wyatt has to go and save his children, which he didn't know about. And they're actually kind of bred, the children were bred from Pepper and Wyatt. So it was really good. I really loved it. If you love Paranormal Romance and you have read Ghost Walkers, you understand why I love this so much. I'm really, it was really good. I ended up giving it five out of five stars and it kicked me into gear, which Paranormal Romance tends to do for me. It kicks me into gear and be like, Bianca, you still love this genre. Continue reading it. There's so many good Paranormal Romances that just, they give me my fix of romance and they give me my fix of challenging me, which is what I really look for in my books. I want them to have romance, but I also want them to have a background and a story where I'm just like, what are you doing? What is it doing to me? I love it so, so much. Must read for anybody who has heard of Feehan or who is into paranormal romances. And if you're looking for paranormal romance and looking to get into the genre, Feehan is a great person to start with. She's really easy. She has a ton of books so you can get into it and like marathon. It's, it's good. Good stuff. Good stuff right here. Next I read Bossy Pants by Tina Fey. I actually listened to it on audiobook as my challenge for this month which was to read, uh, listen to an audiobook and it was, it was pretty good. I get why people loved it. I get why people talk about it still sometimes. Yeah, it was good. I gave it like four stars. It was a good read when I'm like driving to work and stuff like that. It was really good. Next, I read my one of my all-time favorite authors, J.R. Ward, came out with Bourbon Kings, which is her contemporary genre, one of her first in a new series, and oh, this one just slayed me. I was very unsure because it wasn't her typical brotherhood. But it like kind of had that same core feeling where it's a group of guys who stick together and they get tested. In this case, it's a family. Then they get tested and they have to go through these things that really push the limits. And I just loved it. Because I've never read anything from Ward like this. I've never seen her write about scenes where you're like, whoa cannot believe you just did that to me. So good. And I was being skeptical about it was because it's her new series and I wasn't sure if it was going to be good because I'm in love with her Brotherhood series and it's just like give me more of the Brotherhood but wait let me try Bourbon Kings because you know I love her. I love her writing style. I love her male characters and her female characters because they're so they're, the men are gritty, but they're also marshmallows. 
and the women are tough and strong and they have backbone to them where they just don't. They don't take anybody's shit. It's great stuff. So I really love that one and that's what I ended up finishing. Bourbon Kings was the last of this month and it was a good way to end this month. And now, that's it. I got nothing else for it. I ended up reading, what was it? Two, four, two, four, six, seven books this month. Seven books, which is pretty standard for me. And that was with work and life stuff. It was good. It was a good month this month. And I cannot wait for the next one. Next month, I'm going to challenge myself to read one series from beginning to end. I'm reading the Mortal Instruments series by Cassandra Clare. Now, I've read City of Bones before, and I've read City of Ashes before, so those are rereads, but my challenge for this month is to read a finale in a series. And being that The Fallen Angels, I think is what it's called, <laughs> no, City of Heavenly Fire, has already been out for a while now, and now that the series is done, I'm like, okay, it is time for me to read it from beginning to end and be done with it. And that is what next month is going to be. So hopefully I actually finish it next month, and we will see. Stay tuned.